So for me, if you, if you get to know me enough, you know, you'll eventually get an invite to come in and, and have your board shaped. Um, come with me in the room. It's, you know, it's kind of like getting your hair cut. You're talking to the barber the whole time. We're having a cool conversation, listening to good music, get your board made. Oh, do you want the rails a little tighter or not? You know, we'll, we'll have those adjustments and those conversations when we're in the shop. And, and that to me is the really, really neat thing about custom surfboards and hand shaping boards. When I first started surfing, I didn't have a shaper. I didn't know a shaper. You know, I went into a surf shop and picked a board on the rack for my first Christmas present. I think I was 16 years old. And I never had that opportunity to have a board built by a shaper and actually stand in the room and watch it go down. That to me is so valuable and I hope it's the same for other people, so. Making surfboards here in town since uh, 1999, all custom surfboards, hand shaped the old-fashioned way. The thing I like about what we do here is it's all custom surfboards for friends and friends of friends, and it's really been a been a fun ride here for the last gosh almost 24 years now, just making custom boards for everybody, getting to try different stuff, getting into you know not just what I like to shape, but what other people are looking to get into. It's made it a diverse portfolio now. All kinds of different surfboards that we shape. So we're making custom boards for high performance shortboards, retros, fun shapes, longboards, gliders, wake surfboards. Uh, if you go check out all of our models, you know we have 80, 90 different models now as a result, and it's, it's been a it's been a fun ride. So. about custom surfboards and hand shaping boards. It's, you get to have that process with that customer in here with you, which honestly, my customers really are, are my friends. Um, and then not just that, but once you get the board, you give it to them, they're stoked. And then when they call you back after they've ridden it for the first time, oh man, I love this board, it's great, you know? And that, that is the part that, that makes it for us as shapers. You know, it's, it's not for the money, um, if you think, that the cost of the board is half of it's going into our pocket as a shaper, it, it's not. <laughs> the margins are very, very small. Um, if you think you're gonna make surfboards and make money out of it, you're, you're in for a surprise. Usually it's the merchandise, the clothing, the hats and everything is, is where you'll make your money. So really when you see somebody that, that is a true blue shaper, they're, they're doing it because they love it, especially if it's after five or 10 years. Usually you're in a box with no windows, shaping for, for hours and hours just so everybody else can go surfing. And if you're still doing it after a number of years, you know you're, you're really doing it because you love it. The nice thing about custom boards has me making a different board every every day, honestly. I'll do anything from shaping a twin fin and then shape a limb foot glider and then go back to a nose rider and then maybe shape a high performance short board in the same weekend. And then the challenge always is, you know, they're not for hanging on a wall, it can be but I want you something proud enough you'll hang on the wall, but you'll hopefully surf it until it dies. A lot of what we do at, at, at Third World Surf Co is we we try to show everybody what it's like to get out of the hamster cage, get out into the wild, go to the not so developed countries, um, go experience surfing, go experience the cultures. We'll, we'll do campaigns from time to time. You know, we've done it with Direct Relief where we'll donate, you know, a quarter of all of our profit for the year to Direct Relief. So it benefits a lot of the countries that we like to go and visit and surf. So we do good that way. Um, so it's been really, really neat to see um, when we go to do events, you know, we'll do the Surf and Suds events. We'll do um, Ellings Park events these days. We'll sell hats and shirts, that's the Third World Surf Coast site, and we do our donation portions, and it's really encouraging to see how many people really make a decision on whether or not they want to buy a shirt or a hat based on the fact that it's doing altruistic good you know, for other places in the world. So that, that's been really encouraging to see people um, really wanting to do that.